Hey everybody, so today we're in the Potterstrom area and we came down to our local stream. So we're going to see if we can find some red tiles or amphibians. Hopefully we can find something interesting. Let's go. Okay, so what we're doing is we're walking down our river bank to see if we can find something like a rotten log or even a rock. So we can pick it up and see what's under it. Dude, there's a snake. It looks like a harmless brown house snake. Yeah, it definitely is. If you come a little bit closer, you'll see how she's just working, making her way up this, this tree. Probably looking for some birds or something. But let's get her off here so I can show you more about her. This is so cool. She's totally harmless and she's your natural rodent repellent. They're so awesome. And it was quite dry here in Poch and it actually rained today so she's probably looking for some rodents or birds uh, drinking some water or something. That's so cool. And you can identify them with a white stripe here on the head and they are awesome to keep in your garden. They're literally just going to keep all the rodents away. I've caught a few of them close, close to houses with a fat belly and it's probably going to be a rodent or two in there. That's so cool. So let's put her back on her tree so she can go on with her adventure and find some something to eat. Let's go. Just come a little and check how she's just just so calmly as, be, as possible, just slipping up this tree. It's so awesome to see them in their natural habitat. Go, go. And we're not that far out of town either. It's so cool to see what type of wildlife you can still find so close to a neighborhood. But it's so awesome. Let's go see if we can find something else as well. Okay, so it just started raining a little bit again. So the wildlife is going to seek shelter now. So if you want to find a snake now, it's going to be under, let's say a bush or a rock or a log. So we're going to have to pick those up now. We haven't given up hope yet. We've already found something amazing. If we don't find something again, it's fine. I'm quite happy at the moment. So let's quickly go and up this river bank just one more time just to spot the things if you see if we can find something again. Position, so just stay your distance. Look right over there. He's camouflaging as he should in his natural habitat. It's so cool. Let me get him out of here so I can show him a little bit closer. Let's These today. Dude, that's so freaking cool. Look at that! Let's go get him on this green glass in here. It's so cool! I found two snakes today! That's a new record. I've only caught one before. Dude, that's so cool! Holy smokes! So these snakes have a cytotoxic venom, which destroys your flesh. So it's necrosis if you don't treat the bite well enough. So they're quite venomous. They're in the top 10 most venomous snakes in Southern Africa. But they don't cause too many fatalities. If they cause a fatality, it's going to be in a child. So if you're human, you don't have to worry that much. But I've heard that people say it burns so much when you get bitten. It feels like you put your hand over a candle and just don't take it away. They say you don't sleep for about one or two nights. So that's so cool to find one in its natural habitat. When I was about nine, I was in a snake park, and uh, one of the people that worked at the snake park told me, you can identify them on the V pattern on the back, and it stands for very venomous, very venomous. So that's quite cool. 
that it's hissing now. He's telling me, listen, dude, I'm venomous. Don't get any closer. I'm going to have to defend myself. So I'll respect him and do exactly what he wants. So I don't bother him too much. It's a lucky raining day today. He's probably just chilling over there. Interesting fact about them is they can stay at one place for about weeks because they don't hunt for their food, they wait for their food. So when the food hunts, they are the one that just chills and that when the rodent or something like that comes and runs past them, they'll strike and grab them. They are the second fastest strike, striking snakes in the world. Look how he's slithering now. So cool. So when he's not too stressed out, he's going to slither like that. I've seen many people that sent me photos of tracks that are, that's literally just a strut in the ground. And that's your local puff adder. Now that's cool. Thanks everybody. I'm going to go home now. I'm going to go clean myself up. But thanks for coming along with me on this amazing adventure, finding these cool snakes in their natural habitat. And yeah, goodbye Puffy. And be yourself and be safe. God bless.